I want to take a minute to explain projectile motion, which is the motion of an object that's launched through the air. But before we do that, I think we need to have a quick review of just free fall. Remember what free fall means. Free fall means that the only force acting on an object is the force due to gravity. So if I have a ball, say, and it has a mass of one kilogram, then there is only one force acting on it when it's in free fall, and that force is the force due to gravity, Fg. Now remember, force is mass times acceleration, and when we're talking about the force due to gravity, we use the acceleration due to gravity. So Fg has its own name, we call it weight, and weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. Now, this is worth exploring a little bit more in detail. If this object over here is twice as massive, so if that one had a mass of one kilogram, let's say this one has a mass of two kilograms, then what can I say about the force acting on this one? Well, Fg over here is still mg, but since m is twice as big, this force is twice as big. So over here, one times 9.8, gets me a force of 9.8 newtons. Over here, 2 times 9.8 gets me a force of 19.6 newtons. So this object over here, it's more massive, therefore it's heavier, it has more weight, and gravity pulls on it harder. So gravity pulls on more massive objects with a greater force right, and less massive objects with less force. So why is it that these things both accelerate at 9.8 meters per second per second? Well, that gets back to Newton's second law in a matter of inertia. Newton's second law, remember, says net force equals mass times acceleration. This really means that the more mass an object has, the greater force is required to accelerate it at the same rate as something with less mass. So over here, this thing has twice as much mass, so it takes twice as much force to keep it going with the same acceleration as this one. Remember, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, how fast an object changes speed. And since these are both changing speed at the same rate, they're both accelerating at 9.8 meters per second per second, it must be the case that the force on this one is more in order to keep its acceleration on par with this one. So remember, we say all objects fall at the same rate. That does not mean that they all have the same force acting on them. They have the same acceleration. Okay, so that's a little sidebar into free fall. Now let's get back to a projectile. And to do that, I want to investigate an object that's rolling along a horizontal surface, say like a tabletop or something, at a constant velocity. So I have a ball up here, and it's moving this direction with some velocity v. Now if we look at it at this instant in time, we draw our free body diagram, this thing has two forces acting on it. It's got the force due to gravity, and it's got the force from the table pushing up on it. Now that has its own name. The force from the table pushing up here is called the normal, phase, normal force. And it's not because it's pushing up. It's because the normal force, this is important, the normal force is the force perpendicular to a surface on an object. Okay, so the reason this force is here is essentially to balance the force due to gravity. It's Newton's third law. Because gravity is pulling the ball into the table, the table is pushing up on the ball with an equal and opposite force. So the normal force balances gravity here, and that makes sense because I said this thing's moving at a constant velocity, so the net force here is zero. Now, I have... Uh, there, I do have a constant velocity, that's okay, because net force doesn't tell me um, anything about velocity, it talks about acceleration. So this thing's moving to the right, constant velocity, which means a few seconds later, it's going to be right here, just off the edge of the table. Now, when this happens, we have a little bit different picture, because our force due to gravity hasn't changed. Gravity doesn't care if it's on the table or off the table, but now, since it's off the table, the table's not pushing back up on it, there is no normal force. Well, you'll notice, now it looks a heck of a lot like this picture up here. We still have an object, and now it's just got one force acting on it, force due to gravity. However, we have to remember that this thing is still moving this direction. There was no change to that. There's no force that pushed into it. There's no force that made it go faster or slower. So that means a little bit later, it's still going to be moving to the right, but it's also now moving down. This is what we call a projectile, an object that's launched through the air and has motion in two directions. Now the path that it follows is actually called its trajectory. Okay? So this path, whatever it is, 
That's the trajectory, and we are interested in that. We want to know how can we determine where the ball is going to land, um, how far away from the edge it'll land, how fast it'll be going when it lands. So we're going to be using a lot of the kinematic equations and keeping in mind what we know about force and motion to keep to figure out what the trajectory of an object that's launched through the air looks like.